Hi my loves, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna do a makeup tour on this kind of festival inspired makeup look. I know it's like festival season at the moment and I wanted to get creative and I thought like what better timing you know. So anyways I'm starting off with some P. Louise base. Oh my god this stuff is like money like it's just so good i can't even say enough and what i do is i just pat it on it's a bit light for me and she is coming out with darker shades so once they come out i am definitely getting my hands on them because it's such a good base don't crease it's like literally like nikki tutorial said it's literally like a magnet for your shadows but anyways i'm taking this morphe eyeshadow palette i'm gonna write which one it is in the info box and link everything as always and i'm starting with this yellow and patting it on actually above the crease line you'll see there's a lot of patting going on in this tutorial then we're going in with this dark green and we're going just below the yellow and we're gonna you know keep packing I just realized that I forgot to put tape so we're gonna put some tape so we get that sharp line and um, after that keep patting the green underneath the yellow I feel like the lighting is a bit off in this video but I'm working with my new lighting I'm trying to play around with it I mean I am quite yellow in real life when you look at me but I feel like sometimes it's a bit too yellow and some of it's too overexposed and I'm just just bear with me guys I'm trying to fix it but yeah I'm just packing on the green and using a clean brush to kind of soften it into the yellow and don't worry if the bottom bit is not neat we're gonna now take some uh, of the base again and cut the crease and this is just gonna take all the messiness away from the bottom bit you can use any large flat brush to do this this one is from the vanity planet brush set and I do have a coupon code, it's like 70% off in the link to the info box if you guys want to check it out. It's a good deal. But yeah, the brushes are really good and I'm just using this one to really like carve that crease. And just take your time with this, you don't have to rush it. Obviously this is like cut up, I did take longer to do this, so it's not that quick. But yeah, just take your time and you'll get it right. And if you don't get it right the first time, just practice my loves. Practice makes perfect. Um, so now I'm using some of the white shade in the palette and I'm just setting that inner corner section first Then I'm using this sky blue color. I mean these eyeshadows are so pigmented I was like so shocked and it's so affordable as well um, But yeah, I'm packing this on the outer corner area And you don't have to go straight up to the crease because we are going to put some white liner But if you want you can do but it can make the liner go a bit blue So I kind of I kind of avoided that area so once you're done packing that on, gra grab some of this green or any other shade that you want. But I'm using this green to kind of blend the blue out. So it's like a lime green. I don't know, I'm really bad at explaining colours. But just pat this on to fade it between the blue and the white. And just keep patting and you'll see like the work will do it itself. Like it will just happen on its own. If you just keep patting, everything will be blended. I was getting a bit excited because it was just so beautiful. Like it was just so bright and colourful and I hadn't played with eyeshadow in a very long time so I was so happy but here yeah I'm taking some of the dark blue shade and just popping this on the outer, outer corner just to create more of a gradient oh and I also went in with some green and buffed it into the uh, crease line that we created just to deepen it up a bit now I'm using some of the NYX white eyeliner and I put this into the crease and this really cuts it for you like it really makes it stand out you could st skip this step you could even put glitter liner glitter eyeliner is very it's much easier to do this with I find because with the white you can make mistakes easy like I struggled with it, it took me a bit longer but just to, again just take your time with it and then yeah I'm putting some of the NYX black eyeliner as well and just doing a classic wing liner and when you have a tape on the side it makes it so much easier I also curl my lashes and use some of the Bobbi Brown eye opening mascara and popped a bit of that on and then I also did put some lashes off camera I used the Coco lashes in a more and these are so beautiful like they're like really fluffy and you know dramatic I love these so for now onto foundation I did remove the tape but for foundation I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation in 330 like you can tell this foundation is just so good I haven't used it in a while because I rarely wear makeup with all these exams and dissertation uni stuff going on but 
yeah i haven't worn it in a long time and i forgot how good it is it's such a good foundation um this is the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer in c12 and c10 i mix the both to kind of get the right shade for myself i could get away with c12 but i do add a bit of c10 to make it a little bit brighter because i like that highlighted under eye kind of look then i blended it out with my beauty blender you could also bring it across the um, edge of the eyeshadow to really really sharpen it up and now I'm using the e.l.f. I think this is a blush and bronzer cream palette but I'm using the bronzer side and just bronzing up my cheeks I haven't put powder yet so make sure to do this before you put powder and then yeah I kind of contoured and bronzed like a bit of both with it and then I used the Kat Von D loose setting powder and set my under eyes I did a bit of baking around my under eyes and around my mouth area as well I also did put some of the lipstick while I was waiting for that to bake so I used the dose of colors liquid lipstick in knock of wood knock on wood knock on wood <laughs> um it is a little bit light for me but I didn't mind the, the eyes were really bright so I wanted the lips to be a bit nude just to balance it out if you want because it's a festival look you can go with a bright lip as well I mean you can literally go all out for festival but um yeah I just wanted to balance it out I brushed off all the powder set my whole face with it as you can see your base is now nice and flawless and I also did pop some of this Jouer lip topper I forgot the shade I think it's rose gold but I will um, link it in the info box but I popped that on and then I also went with a nice lilac shade from the palette on my lower lash line pop some more mascara on and I also did grab some of the NYX matte bronzer in deep just to add more color to my skin as you can see here I'm just using a large brush and just putting it on where I put the cream contour for highlight I'm using the makeup revolute no makeup forever <laughs> highlighter in O2 and I'm just popping that on the highest points of my face with the fan brush this is what this one's from Amazon and then I'm using the Kat Von D locket setting spray to set that in place and you want your makeup to last all day long you're probably going to do a lot of dancing you know jumping around you know so you want it to stay on and i'm also using this festival glitter stuff from beauty bay i will link it this stuff is so cool but anyways i put some lash glue on my lower lash line and popped some of that on and it just really completed the look but yeah that's the end of this makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time bye